Hey Sean, it's Joe Schroeder with the phones and the uh, account from yesterday. Yes, sir. Well, you know, you set a VIP appointment for Saturday, but I don't understand because you, you you had gotten out of the bag two tablets and an iPhone. It was all set up, ready to go. Um, told me the account spending limit was twelve fifty. Later, they said it was one fifty. Uh, they got my initials on all the agreements and signature on the tablet. Then they said, oh, we can't do the deal. Um, you told me I was walking out with no payment, no out-of-pocket expense today, and it was all being billed to my next bill. No, there's no way we can bill it to the next bill. I wouldn't have said that. The only time I said anything about um, no out-of-pocket would have been on the accessories. That's the only, the only thing that we do, no out-of-pocket. I wouldn't have mentioned any prices other than what were out on the floor. Because I didn't look at. Uh, well, you know, uh, I don't understand. So <clears throat> I asked. Okay, well, well, I asked them for a copy of what I was signing. It says right in there that it's my right to do that and my right to receive one, and they wouldn't give me one. So it just all seems a little shady. I don't understand. You know. Well, there's no re there was there was no copies of anything because you didn't pay for anything. But you know, there, it says right in the it's, I, but it says right in the agreement that if you'd like to request a copy of this, you can. I did, and they wouldn't provide one. So, you know, I didn't right, pay. Well, but that's because you didn't complete the transaction, so no papers and no forms were ever even submitted. So there was nothing for us to print. But you have a right to look at that. If they would have provided that, I could have completed a transaction. That's the thing. So I mean, I have the right to see that. You know, I mean, I have a right to look at it in paper format. It says it right in there. And so, you know, I said, okay, I'd like that, and I'm signing it, and can't complete it if they're not going to provide that, and I can read exactly what the agreements are and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, so the other concern is, I don't know, I would imagine that you guys don't pull that stuff out of the safe until it's approved. I mean, you basically told me you're approved for five lines. That's what you told me. And approval doesn't mean you can have five lines. I can have five lines anywhere. I can go and get ten lines. We're... You know, on the IRS um, documentation, we're a five hundred plus thousand dollar per year company in revenue. You're telling me we can't, you know, finance two thousand dollars worth of uh, tablet products that are productive. Well, unfortunately, it runs off of uh, it runs off the credit that your business has. So, since your um, whatever your credit class was that when you ran it back in July, it's still going off of the credit class that it pulled from your business tax ID. Well, unfortunately, back then they did the same thing. Let me interrupt you, Sean. 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 Let me just time out. Time out. Time out. Let me interrupt, Sean. Let me interrupt you real quick because I want to. That's a good point. They did the same thing back then. A new employee who's never done anything before. The manager leaves, and they spend a couple hours there. And you know the account spending limit says twelve fifty, but at the end of the, you know a half hour after the manager has left, suddenly the account spending limit says one fifty. Now, if that don't seem fishy to people, and that now it's twice in a row that, that that's happened at a Sprint store. And even when I got there, I told you last time I spent four hours and I was like, look, I'll just grab whatever phone so I could go get back to work. You know, we're, like, like I say, we do $565,000 a year in revenue. I don't have four hours to spend at, um, you know, we do more than a GNC uh, location does. So... That was my point. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, here. Here's the problem. You guys were only approved for five lines. Just because I grabbed something out of the safe and I said you can get them does not have any effect on any down payment. It runs off of your credit class with your business. So, unfortunately, I, there would be no way of me knowing whether there were a down payment until we went to scan the phone. Okay, if you say that, I believe you. You know, that's fine. That's that's right. fine. It just doesn't seem to, it just seems weird. Um, oh, then they say, oh, well, it's frozen. And then they go and redo the screen. And now instead of saying 1250 account spending limit, it says 150. Oh, so that. Another thing is the account spending limit does it. it literally I know that. You know, mean yeah, I know that. Anything. You don't have to go into that, but still, it's a factor when it appears to be have changed and nothing's transacted yet. So it seem, seems to me, I'm like, I'm like, is there a transaction going on that I'm not aware of? Because my now my account limit is lowered and this and that. So, but the one thing you did say to me when we were out on the floor, you told me um, you can spend up to. Uh, just a minute, I got an incoming phone call. I'm going to send them to 
voicemail. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, I mean, the deal is we need additional stuff. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're, you're cutting in and out. Not a problem. That's no, not me. It's the, the, spe the speaker. Yeah, the speaker's cutting in and out. I hear you. It's just convenient for me to have it on speaker. Yeah, the deal is we need additional stuff, and I'm probably going to go elsewhere because I don't, you know, it just doesn't seem. So <clears throat> I know you can call credit, uh, 